What's going on guys and welcome to the 68 Xamarin Android tutorial. Uh, so this video is going to be concentrating on using the login manager aside from using the login button which we used in the last video to log into uh, uh, the Facebook SDK. So the, the login button which is what we're using right now does a lot for us. Like I said before it, it actually designs the button, it handles the click event. We simply just have to register a callback and, and let it know what to do after it has successfully or not successfully uh, connected to the Facebook app. So so what's going on here is a lot of it's like I said taking care of it for us but the, the login manager is something that we can actually wire up our own button with. Alright so this is the login button again and as you can see it clicks that, it logs us in and now changes the text which is also done automatically for us and it allows us to log out. As long as we want to log out we can hit log out. So uh, this is a, a lot of a lot of what we're doing, um, what we want to do with the login manager. So if we can use the login manager we want more control over what's actually going on so what we can do over here is we can come into here and we can actually create our own button and then go ahead and and wire it up to our login to our actual event that we have to actually code in so it's actually not that much more work but uh let's just see what what, we, what i mean by you know being able to do it ourselves and then therefore we have something to do ourselves we have a little more control over what happens um, so it's a little more work in the in the beginning, but we do have the the ability to be able to to uh, control it fully. So let's first get it, it a uh, ID, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a width in which we will wrap content like so, and then we'll give it a height which we will also wrap content. And then we'll give it some text and we'll just say, uh, call it my Facebook login button. All right, so now we have our uh, button, which is going to look something like this. And just to give it some kind of centering, we'll do layout gravity since we are inside of a linear layout and we'll do center horizontal. And that'll, that'll uh, center it horizontally for us. So now we have our, our button, all right? So, so pretty basic, uh, of course, we're not gonna design it. Uh, if you do want to, of course, you're probably gonna want to design it, so then go ahead and do the, and do so, like, you know, make it rounded and make it look probably a little more like a Facebook button would. All right, so now we can come over here into our main activity, and here's uh, the code that we use for the login button, which, like, uh, for this instance, we're not using. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. We're gonna comment this out. We're gonna keep the callback manager. We're gonna comment this out. All right. So a lot of it's uh, pretty simple. With the login manager, we use also another static method, and we can access it through the login manager. And then we'll do instance. So we get the instance of the login manager, and then we uh, we want to actually register the callbacks with this one. So we'll do register callback, and then we'll do the same exact thing, callback and this. So this is basically telling it that hey, it's going to delegate control and call one of these methods depending on what happens. So the same exact thing that we were doing we were doing in this, but now we're doing it for the login manager. And then now what we need to do is we actually need to set up our click event for the uh, the button that we just created, right? Our Facebook login button, our very own. So what we can do is uh, be a little lazy about this and just do it all in one in one shot. And we'll call it button and then we'll do click plus equals Something like that should work. So this is going to be our click event when the user actually uh, wants to actually log in to the the app. So what we'll do here is uh, they actually want to log in when they hit this button. So we're going to actually log them in manually, and then we will do login. Oops, we're going to get the instance first, and then we will do login with read permissions, and we got to give it the activity that's trying to log it in, which this will suffice. And then we gotta give it a collection. So it says, uh, okay, I want a collection of, of strings. So, which is gonna be something like this actually. So the collection, yeah, a collection of strings, which is gonna be fine. We'll just do new list of strings and something like this. And then this is going to be the, uh, the actual permissions that we want to give it, which is going to be public underscore profile so this is us requesting some permissions from the user and friends. 
and that'll work just fine okay so that's this is actually invoking the login all right and what it's going to do is it's going to log us in and it's going to handle this stuff just just like that so this is going to be equivalent to uh, this stuff right here as well so uh, let's go ahead and log in now to Facebook with with our button make sure that things working correctly pull this up all right so we have our Facebook login button we'll click it and sure enough it's logged us in all right so uh, notice that it's logged us in and then you know since we still have this button it's going to actually invoke it and, and change the text of that one and everything like that so that's uh that's pretty much it for that button and logging in with the login manager and what it's trying to do now is it trying to it's trying to uh still log us in even though we're logged we're logged in through here all right so what we need to do since you know this logic is done for us but uh, what we need to do here is when we click this thing, we need to actually log out with the Facebook, like a lot of a lot of like what this one's doing. Okay, we need to handle this whether it's logged in or logged out. All right. So how do we tell whether it, we're we're logged in or not? Well, that's pretty simple. What we can do is we can check the access token. All right. So let's go over how to check if the user is already logged in on startup. Close that down. So I've, I've taken the liberty of uh, writing some code that is uh, it's a simple line of code that's going to check to see whether the the application is uh, logged in or not. All right. So what uh, what this is doing, guys, is it checks the current access token. If the current access token is available, what will happen is that that in in the profile is uh, also available. So if it's not null and this is not null, then the user must be logged in. Otherwise, they must not be logged in. All right. So 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 that that's what Facebook gives us is predominantly using the current access token and whether or not the profile is, is, is there. So uh, once you do log in, Facebook will cache your, cache your login credentials and then you know automatically log you in until you want to actually log out or uninstall the app or something like that. So what we can do is we can do, okay, you know, let's go ahead and make an actual button now. We'll do Facebook button equals, and then we will just copy this stuff right here. All right, so that'll give us an actual reference that we can uh, mess with. And so this, this means that the user is logged in. So we'll do the user is logged in through Facebook. So what we'll do here is we'll actually change the text. So we'll do text equals. So the, if they're logged in, we'll just we'll, we'll want to tell them right away. We'll give them the option to log out, of course. And this is, uh, is just kind of happening in the activity. Obviously, if they're already logged in, you're probably going to take them to another activity and give them you know, options to do, uh, you know, stuff that's, that you do in your app. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead and just show you how to, you know, log back and in, like, you know, given the same functionality of the login button. So, all right. So it's, it's, uh, the user's logged in. Otherwise let's log them. Let's, let's actually just leave it. So since it, it de by default says a login, so that's the only time when we actually need to change it. And now that being said, what we'll do this when this button's clicked, we don't know whether they're logged in or not yet. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this and copy and paste this code, and we'll check to see whether or not they are logged in, so that we know what action to do when this button is clicked. So what we'll do is uh, now that we have a reference to this, let's go ahead and paste this over here, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, well this is this means that the user is logged in. Let's go ahead and note that down here as well. So the user is logged in through Facebook, which means we, uh, so we'll have an else here. Otherwise the user is not. So the user is not logged in, which is when we want to actually log them in when the button's clicked, right? Otherwise, this is the first condition. If, they, if this is not null and the profile's not null, then they are logged in, which means they must want to log out. So what we'll do here is we'll do login manager instance and it is called logout who would have guessed it right so that'll actually now log the user out of the application so when they go back in uh, they, they won't be logged in so it, it kind of clears the cache that Facebook saves inside of your app uh, so let's continue let's uh, let's go ahead and we're actually going to take the set content view and we're going to always put it of course below the SDK initialize but before any kind of view activity which is would be right here right and then we're also going to uh, go ahead and get rid of this also and check and checking for the current access token to not equal null should be enough. And 
that will be that this will mean that the user is logged in and then we can actually just get rid of it here omit this and so this is saying that okay when the button is clicked the user is logged in through facebook so log them out otherwise they want to log in so log them in and then uh, since we're logging them out what we want to do is we want to actually set the text here and all this stuff of course will be like inside of your your string your resources and all that uh, just to be proper about it but here it's kind of uh, beyond the scope of this you know we're kind of just exampling how to get this going and the logic that would probably need to be used so you know once the, once they're logged in we want to show that they are able to now log out and then of course once they're logged in or I'm sorry we want to show that we, they can log in and then once they log sorry about that once they're logged in we want to show that they're actually able to be logged out all right and this is like I said logic that you'll want to probably add into like some other fragment uh, but this kind of gives you hopefully in the, in the uh, points in the right direction of where to go with this and you know whether it be an icon you show uh, to log out or or something you know this is a way to actually be able to tell whether the user is logged in or not all right so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get what we should expect to see is the button that is going to update the status whether it'll be logged in or not and that's going to be right here okay so my facebook login button and then sure enough we are now logged in this gets updated and then we are now uh, able to log out as well so there you have it and notice that both buttons correlate which is great okay so we're logging in and out we're logging in and out so this is something that we'll, we'll probably be able to check guys you'll be able to check here and then take them to the activity and then get the user id because here with the access token is not null then you're safe to start doing some cool stuff like uh, getting you know the access token and then getting the current access token and then getting the user ID and then like you know authenticate with their user ID with your new user ID and you know just start doing some cool stuff pull some data in whatever really you uh, have in mind so uh, there you have it, guys I mean that's uh, hopefully a, a good example of what the login manager class is all about and I hope you see what I mean by you get a little more control but at the same time the compromises you have to do a little more as well and this is basically just the, the basics of it there's there's still a lot more that you'd have to do to get something a little more robust but this should give you the basics of what you need to do and uh, with a login manager like how to actually explicitly call it to log in how to explicitly call it to log out which you don't have to do with the member of the login button, it really just takes care of a lot of that for us. So, but the compromise and then what you get in return is that you have more control over this button and you really can do whatever the heck you want with it. All right, so that is, uh, there's always a trade off, right? But uh, the next video where we're gonna be taking a look at whether you're connected, uh, however you connect, you, what's gonna happen is we're actually gonna be connected through the on success. And then that way you can start getting some profile information. And then with that profile information, you can start populating some cool stuff like their their icons and their uh, images and uh, you know of course their first name last name stuff like that so you can start doing some really cool stuff with that uh, you don't uh, necessarily even need to do any sort of user id authentication if you're just wanting to pull in some of the information that is unique to, to the user themselves all right so that's all in the next video so uh, please stay tuned and uh, as always thanks for watching guys